a sample problem from chapter 23rd. A figure shows a Gaussian surface in the form of closed cylinder of radius R. It lies in the uniform electric field E with the cylinder central axis parallel to the field. What is the net flux free of the electric field through a cylinder? So here we have the Gaussian surface in the form of cylinder and this cylinder is exactly placed in the uniform electric field. So the cylinder central axis are exactly parallel to the field. So we are going to find what is the net flux. So if you want to calculate the net flux, first of all, you have to see the figure. So what is given in the figure? They pointed three points, point A, point B, and point C. You have to see here, location A is here, location B, as well as location C. So here, what we are going to do, we are going to find the flux at A, flux at B, as well as the flux at C. Once you find the flux in these three points, we are going to add all these flux for getting the answer for the net electric flux. So for that, first of all, we have to use the rule. What we studied in the theory, the flux P, which is equal to the closed integral of E vector dot dA vector. This is the rule we studied in the theory. But here we have to find the flux at location A and location B as well as location C. So for getting the net flux, so better I can write here, so this is our net flux P, which is equal to the integral of E vector dot dA vector at location A plus integral of E vector dot dA vector in location B plus the integral of E vector dot dA vector in location C. So here, I'm going to apply the rule because here E dot dA, which is nothing but EA cosine theta, right? So if you integrate, actually you have to see the flux is the common, so the electric field is a common because it's a constant. So you have to integrate only this dA. When you integrate this dA, what you will get? You will get exactly A. So that means so here we have to get EA, cosine theta for, so this part is for A point plus EA cosine theta for point B plus EA cosine theta for point C. So what I did here, here I just integrate this dA. When you integrate this dA, you will get the area. Electric field is a constant, so I take it outside. And here, when you apply the A dot B rule, what you studied in chapter 3 in physics 1, A dot B, which is equal to AB cosine theta, so E dot A, which is equal to EA cosine theta. So that's what I write, EA cosine theta for point A, EA cosine theta for point B, and EA cosine theta for point C. Now, the most important thing, the angle matters here. So let me see the figure. Let me just go to location A. What is given in the locations A? You can see this is our area vector and your electrical field as per in the figure, your electrical field goes from left side to the right hand side. You have to see the arrow marks. So these are all the electric field. Am I right? So your electric field is in the right hand side, but your area vector in location A is left because the area vector is the normal to this point, right? So here you have to see your electric field is in the right direction and your area vector is in the left direction. So the angle between these two is exactly 180 degree. So I have to apply the rule here. So in this place, what I'm going to do, I'm going to write EA of cosine 180 for location A. So now we have to go to location B. So again, I have to go to the figure, you can see your EA vector is perpendicular. This is your EA vector, which is projecting upward direction, but your electrical field is in the rightward direction. But here, what is the angle? The angle here is 90 degrees. So for location B, what is the angle here? The angle here is 90 degrees. So EA of cosine of 90 degrees. Now we have to go to the third location. So here you have the third location. 
you have to see the area vector as well as the electric field are exactly in the same directions your electric field is in this direction your area vector is in this direction so what is the angle for this here the angle is exactly zero so in place of cosine theta for location c i have to write ea cosine of zero degree right so now we know what is the value of cosine 180 the value of cosine 180 is minus one so here we get minus ea because cosine 180 is minus one and minus one multiplied by ea is minus ea and cosine of 90 degree is zero anything multiplied by zero is zero right plus cosine zero is one so one multiplied by ea is plus ea so minus ea get cancelled with this plus ea so what is the net flux the net flux for here is zero right so the answer for this part is zero why because cosine 180 negative cosine 90 zero cosine of zero here zero so location a the angle is 180 so location b the angle is 90 the location c angle is zero because all these angle we got from the figure so the figure is very very important for this question because we get the information of the angle from the figure so the cosine of 180 180 degree gives the negative one cosine of 90 gives you zero here cosine of zero gives you plus one so plus one and minus one that means the plus ea and minus ea get cancelled already we have zero so zero no value so minus ea cancel with this plus ea so what is the net flux for here so the answer for this question the net flux gives the answer of zero so this is the answer for this question that's it thank you